My name is John Hilton, I'm Chairman of the Organising Committee of Formula Students at the Institution of Mechanical Engineers and I'd like to formally welcome you to Formula Student 2010 Silverstone. Formula Students are really exciting, great competition for students at university to design, build, make and race a racing car to a fairly open formula. And it's basically giving points to the teams for the way that they've designed a car, they've built the car, they've costed the car, they've done a business presentation about the car, and really the driving of it is almost the last thing. There's several sections to the scrutineering, so first of all we're looking at the, uh, the chassis to make sure that complies with the regulations or they've got the equivalency to the regulations. Uh, we're looking at the safety of the car to make sure that um, it's going to be safe on the track, making sure the regulations are complied with, and then they go on to do the, the noise test and the brake test to, to prove that um, the car can stop safely and it complies with the noise regulations. The Formula student team gives us a chance to work together. We're a team of over 60 people this year. Um, we've got 30 here today, um, but this is the only chance any of our graduates would usually get to work in a team situation. We've got a fairly new class that was introduced in 2008, which is the Class 1A cars, which are designed to deliver the optimum uh, fuel efficiency so they're low carbon cars and we're looking for all sorts of new technologies there like electrical propulsion, hybrids, alternative fuels, anything that can optimise the uh, carbon dioxide performance of the car. There's always things each year that impress me. There are some uh, fantastically engineered cars, there are some uh, really innovative solutions and uh, there's, there's always some firsts in each of the competitions. Uh, We've seen a direct injection uh, petrol engine first in the competition this year and uh, the, certainly in the, uh, the Class 1A, some of the uh, uh, cars in terms of the electrical engineering is uh, really you know, getting uh, very impressive. I think that the students that go through the Formula Student Programme, they obviously come out with a unique set of experiences that are very, very beneficial if they take up a career in, in motorsport but I think the experiences that they gain are, are applicable elsewhere and the, the, the sense of teamwork, working in a real world environment to real um, problems to do with money, marketing, budgets, engineering, uh, challenges obviously, all of those skills and working as a team to deliver something in a competitive environment is absolutely fantastic for their education and as I say that isn't just true of motorsport, it's true of many walks of life. The problem you tend to find in comments made by industry is that they have the degree but they don't know what it's like to come and work in an environment, to work with suppliers, to work with other teams, to hit a deadline, to work late at night, so it's the experience of applying what we're, we're learning. For me, I think former students an excellent opportunity to um, showcase my engineering skills. Um, I was able to get the sort of real responsibility of looking after an engineering project and I looked after the whole team, so it would be many years at a company before you got that sort of experience. The key thing that you find when you come here is that it's teaming with employers as much as it's teaming with students, and the employers are wandering around because these are extremely employable undergraduates. I'm here to represent Airbus today at Formula Student, and Airbus's interest in this is to make ourselves known to a lot of these very bright young people here from the universities around Europe, to, to spread our name around and to make them think about Airbus when they're planning their careers. We understand that there is an engineering shortage in the UK and we feel that with a background of 2,000 plus mechanical engineering students, we feel that we could um, benefit from really, I suppose, promoting ourselves in the engineering space um, and potentially track them into maybe something that they didn't originally foresee them going into.
Our car is uh, probably one of the only winged cars here. It has an aerodynamics package with front and rear wings. Um, we're lucky enough to have a wind tunnel at Monash University, which we use every year. We do more testing, um, developing more downforce, less drag, and lightening our wings package. Actually, it's uh, a bit of a strange environment. Everyone's so busy, but yet interested in everybody else's car. A little intimidating with all the new things, but eventually we'll hope to test.